Thanks, the Lord. It's a wonderful privilege to be back here to just worship with you. I enjoy being at Temple Hall and being like your little family at Temple Hall. Amen. So I just want to give God thanks for this opportunity to be here another time. Yes. I want to greet our pastor, to wife, missionaries. All the saints of God, and especially the children this morning, yes. I want to greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. I hope as I bring the word to you that you will grasp, you will understand, and you will find something in it that speaks to you. Today I want to talk to you on the topic, Don't Be Discouraged, Wait on the Lord. Yes. I want yes. to, the scripture is taken from Psalm 27 and the key verse is verse 40. Yes. Wait on the Lord, if be I of good courage, yes. and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Yes. It's going to be a short word. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for this another day that we have spared our lives, Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for bringing us here today. We thank you even for the opportunity, Lord Jesus, to be here without maximum restriction, Lord Jesus. Lord God, as I bring the word this morning, Lord God, I pray that everything is done and saved to the glory and honor of your name, mighty God. Let self be slain this morning, Lord Jesus. Have your way, Lord Jesus, I ask, and I give you thanks in Jesus' name. Praise God, praise God, praise God. When I reflect on the scripture, I think about the different stages of the butterfly. Boys and girls know the butterfly. You know the different stages of the butterfly, boys and girls? Alright. <laughs> so, the first stage is the egg. When the egg is hatched, that is when I, I put that as to when you are born in Christ. When you are when you be birth, when you are birthed, not in birth. When you when you are baptized in, in Jesus' name. When you start coming to church, when you just start being a Christian. So that is the first stage of our life, just like what the second stage is the larva, that is the caterpillar stage. The job of the caterpillar is to eat the leaf it was born on, so that it will grow and it shed its skin. Yeah. So <clears throat> it is when you are walking with Christ, you have to shed something. Okay. So when you become a Christian, you can't be the same old, same old person. No, you have, if you were disobedient to your parents, you now have to be obedient. You have to listen to mommy and daddy all the time, right? Mm -hmm. Right, boys and girls? Mm -hmm. So you have to shed some of the friends that you have, because they have some friends that will influence you in the wrong things. So you have to shed some of the friends. You even have to shed some of the clothes that you wear, just like the caterpillar shedding skin. You have to shed some things. You have to shed your attitude. Yeah. You can't be a Christian and be the same person that you are. You have to change your attitude yeah. because you are no walking in Christ. Yeah. And Second Corinthians 5 and verse 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. Yeah. The old things have passed away and become all things have become new. Yes. So you can't remain the same when you are being born as a Christian. You are born into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Stage three of the butterfly is the pupa stage. As soon as the caterpillar is done growing and has reached its full length and weight, it may see that it is just resting. But inside, it is where all the action of the body parts are undergoing remarkable transformation and getting ready for its final stage. Romans 12, verses 1 to 2, it 
says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, be mercies by the mercies of God that he present your bodies as a living sacrifice, yeah. holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. I mean not conform to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. So here God is telling you that you must be, be not conformed to this word, be not conformed to the things that are going on, but you are to be transformed by renewing your mind. How do we renew our mind in Christ? We, we fast, we pray, we seek God. There are times when God allows us to go through some testing and we don't understand why yeah. He does it. There are times when it seems as if He has left us alone. Just like the butterfly when the, butter, when the caterpillar is resting, all the work is being done on the inside. But when you feel like God has left you alone, that's when He's closest to you. That's yeah. when He's working on you. He's giving you strength. He's building you for you to come and work in His kingdom to know your purpose. So that's when He's teaching us how to be patient, how to trust Him. And I know that, you know, based on what is happening in the world, sometimes we think that God is not there and we don't, we, we, we're giving up our patience. And we are not believing and we are not holding on to God. But today I want to encourage you that. God is able, no matter what you are going through today, yes. there is nothing, absolutely nothing, nothing to nothing, be nothing. for God to do. That's right. There is the final stage of the butterfly. When the caterpillar has done all its forming and changing, then the other butterfly emerges. At first, both of its wings are going to be folded against its body it, because it has to fill all its new parts with blood. So it stays still till the blood is pumped into the wings and get them working and flapping. So it is with God. Hallelujah. You have to trust God to shape you, to mold you into what. He wants you to be calmer. Yeah. He can may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Hallelujah. I just want to encourage you, young people, because yeah. I know there are all sort of persons out there saying that they are Christians and they are part of God. When you watch the news and you see what is happening, I want to encourage you young people this morning to just live for God. If you have a question, you don't understand something that you're reading the Bible, you come and you ask any one of the missionary pastors, any one of the adults, just call and ask questions from us. Don't let anybody influence you. Don't let nobody tell you that they are of God. There is one true and living God, and that is Jesus Christ himself. Hallelujah. Sometimes you pray and you think that God is taking forever to answer 
in your prayers. I am a testimony that God supplies all of our needs. Yes. He will not give you more than you can bear. God is a provider. He's a healer. Yes. There are many times when I don't know where the next dollar is coming from, how the bills are going to the people. My God has always supplied. He has always come through right on right. time. So I don't worry about anything. I trust God. I live for God. I place my entire life in the hands of God. That's how much I trust in God because I know that God is able to deliver us, to deliver us from any situation. That's right. Any situation at all. Hallelujah. And it's in the fasting, it's in the scriptures that we read and we pray for him that the blood like the butterfly, he will fill you with his yes. own yes. When you communicate yes. with him, he yes. will anoint you. He will cover